I first met the uh, I first met the Onka brothers um, when the World Championships were in South Africa, which was 2001. Um, I decided rightly or wrongly I'd try to hire out my discus too for a bit to help defray the costs of containering them down there. And um, the Onka boys uh, hired it for a couple of weeks to take it down to. Um, I forgot the name of the place where they go, anyway, <laughs> to the south down in the Karoo. Um, and so as soon as they did that, I then said, well, that's great, you can have it if you've got a trailer. And so I said, well, we've got a standard series trailer you can use uh, if you'd like to modify it yourself. So I modified the trailer to fit the discus too, and they and flew the comp, and then they took it away and um, went aviating with it for a while before the container left and came back. So that's how I met them. Mm. And at the time, they were full of it, how they'd um, they bought a crashed Ash 26 and they were going to design a new set of wings. They were going to mend the fuselage, the wings were completely trashed, they were going to design a new set of wings to put on the Ash 26 fuselage. And then uh, they decided the project was taking so long it would be quicker to mend the Ash 26. So they mended the Ash 26 and, then, uh, and flew that for a while. And in the meantime, the, J, the JS1 project went on in the background. So um, they um, designed the fuselage and the wings. And um, so it so happened that I was on a, uh, a trip to Johannesburg with British Airways, a working trip. And I phoned up some of my gliding friends, as I, was, I tended to do when I was down there, and said, what, uh, uh, what are you doing this weekend? And they said, oh, we're going down to the Yonkers Sailplanes factory in Potchestrom. They're opening the wings, so they're opening the moulds, um, having joined the team after the wings. I said, oh, that would be interesting, I'll go down and see it. And I, and I thought, well, we're going to go down to some sort of prototyping shop, because I'd been down and seen the work that Pat Beatty was doing, the BJ4, and that really was a prototyping project where they basically put the glider together and then put lots of filler on it and lots of sanding and eventually made it smooth and went flying. I thought it'd be similar to that. But they opened the moulds and I went, Wow, that looks just like something that's come out of Germany. Mm. Um, so at that point, um, <laughs> I got on the phone to Pammy, who was somewhere else working, and said, uh, Pammy, I've just seen the guy that I'd like to buy. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 uh, so, was, yeah, I was getting ready for a flight home. I was so, just yeah, sneaky yeah. having a nice big pizza. I felt I had a camera on me going... Yeah. And uh, you said, but you had to get in the first ten for a good deal. Oh Can yeah, I do and, they, and they, they were doing the first ten at a knockdown price, which as well was uh, quite a good incentive to order quickly. So anyway, I ordered one, got one of the first ten, and then um, with going to the factory to sort of see how it was all progressing, they eventually ended up that they said, "Will I be their agent?" Brilliant. Yeah. So um, yeah. and then uh, Ian Evans got a bit on on board because um, they had a few. Uh, problems. They're, they're great at designing things in their head and on the computer and then sometimes they have a bit of problem turning that into reality and then Ian Evans got involved because he went down and worked with them for a while um, on the wingtip junction uh, and so that's how we got So we ended up both being the agent and doing some work. So you can see the 29 in the fuselage here. It looks just like well there's the lots of, I mean, yeah. if you were going to say why redesign the wheel? There's a lot of slight or slim similarities in the yeah. fuselage and a lot of chamfer similarities in the wing. Mm. Yeah. So, um, and, pretty and, looking glider. Yeah. But mm. funny how it's gone full circle because um, Schempfer have now built the Ventus 3, which mm. looks incredibly like a JS1 wing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's, well, it, yeah, it's funny how it goes full circle. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the story. Anyway, it's nice to be involved, but it does cause us a lot of hassle. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So that's the that was a quick summary of the JS story. So um, thank you very much for your time. Um, I'd like to thank you for asking me down here. Actually, having a great day. It's been nice to fly uh, a little bit with a few of you. I'm sorry we couldn't order up any better weather for the occasion, but <laughs> such is life. And um, yeah. Very much. Thanks, John, for well, setting it up. You. It was very thank nice. Very and very Paul well. and Caroline, who are going to uh, take us back to their place and uh, take us to the yes, pub yes. tomorrow and things like that. That's very nice. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank, thank you very much.
Um, I, I appreciate the effort that it's taken for you to come. I thought we'd pass um, something over just to show oh, our appreciation. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I'm very grateful as well for the whip round for the junior team. I, um, it's nice to try and um, put funds into the junior team because whereas the sort of older and gnarly, grisly ones of us, you know, a shortfall in funding of a few quid probably doesn't make much difference in the grand scheme of things. For the junior team, it really does make a big difference. So everything we can put in, very much appreciated. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a bottle for Pammy as well. Thank you. No, but that's really good. Andy doesn't charge for coming around, and it's just great that people contribute to, to the youngsters that we need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.